So Penn has been really committed to taking care of uh, oncology patients for decades now. And we really had you know, struggled to say we can't just close down our program and not have some type of educational program for nurses to learn how to take care of these patients, particularly when statistics say that one in four p people in the country are going to have some type of oncology diagnosis. And so either they're survivors or they're newly diagnosed or they're in treatments or they're still taking, you know, something to keep them in remission. And, you, and so it's either a comorbidity or an active disease, and we wanted to make sure that these patients were getting the care that they really needed and that nurses were getting the education they required. So we determined um, to develop our, what was a, a standalone nurse practitioner program into this minor, building on the competencies that you already had as a nurse practitioner or a clinical nurse specialist or you know, just a, you know, a, even an administrator with, you know, with nursing background, but that you would have the ability to go and get this specialty education really in the care of patients with um, oncology needs. And so we took the curricula and really looked at what it was and decided what core components were um, essential to have. And so we developed a three course minor the first course really goes over kind of the pathogenesis of cancers and goes through the different types and how do you, you know, um, how do you develop it, what's the histology, what's the lab works to go along with that, how does it manifest itself if it were colon cancer versus breast cancer versus leukemia, that type of stuff. The second course goes over all the different treatment plans that you can have. So, you know, radiation and you know, multi, multi therapy and all those type of things are included in that course. And then the third course covers really kind of the pulling it together. How do you, how does the patient manifest? How do you assess the patient? How do you make sure that their treatment's moving forward? What are you looking for in diagnostic studies as they're going through their treatments? And then there's a clinical component to that where um, you really get to be immersed in an oncology setting and you're dealing with patients who have these problems and you're able to determine whether they're meeting you know the markers correctly are they getting the care they need are their emotional support needs being met you know are their family able to deal with it all those type of of um, psychosocial issues as well as for their health issues 